Hmm, there's a little grassy park in front of the San Juan Cathedral, you know, and uh, completely shaded by this old growth, must be over 200 years old, banyan tree. Wow. Thick shade and... Uh, well, all Raphael says, uh, well, adios, amigas. Uh, he gets back to uh, his uh, La Perla Villa because he's got to roll up $201 joints. Weekend, uh, busy. Hey, Zafo, saxophone. <sighs> Relax, y'all. Oh, what a divine. Compassionate, soft landing in their new world. Yeah, well, well, I've never been here before, so I'm just going to wander around. I'll get oriented, and they walk up to the harbor uh, headland, the highest point uh, that protects San Juan Harbor, and oh, there is that fortress, world-famous El Morado, the wall. Good name because the walls, 20 feet thick, yeah. Surrounding moat, okay, and, uh, yeah. The most uh, powerful, devastating cannon batteries in the West Indies, yeah, big guns, just stacks of cannonballs. Uh, Let's talk a little bit about these cannoneers of El Moro. Yeah, between uh, 1570 and 1573. Oh, you had the swax buckling uh, Englishman. Uh, yeah. Sir Francis Drake. Oh, he was coming down. He made three plundering voyages to the West Indies, bringing back loot for the king and queen of England. Yeah. Portobello. Uh, he sacked and burned that city right down after relieving them of all their gold and silver. Followed that up by sacking Veracruz. Yeah, he's going for the Triple Crown. Let's take El Moro, you take El Moro, you take the whole island, okay? Well, sails right up to there, and uh, he's, he starts, uh, uh, you know, firing his cannons. They fire back, but they're much more accurate and deadly and powerful And his flagship. Bloop, bloop, bloop. That frigate goes down completely. Loses his 50-man crew. They're all dead. Uh, he has to, like, sail away. I mean, his, his, his fleet's been devastated. Yeah, he kind of slinks down island to Antigua, huh? British island. Uh, and he's got to pull his ships, all of his ships, completely out of the water. Die, Drock. Try to repair him. He ain't going back to El Moro. Well, uh, yeah, El Moro guarding the harbor uh, to discourage any even hint or thought of don't even fantasize attacking El Moro. That protected the Spanish flag there in Puerto Rico for 500 years. Nobody could fuck with El Moro until the Spanish-American War, 1918. Here come the Yank Navy, more modern. <laughs> they take the whole island. Yeah. Up go the Stars and Stripes, huh? Above El Moro, 1918. Been flying there ever since. And what does that mean for the local Spanish descended uh, inhabitants? It means uh, party time. Oh, yeah. And the Puerto Rican party never stopped. Why? Because they became free from that conservative Spanish Catholic ruled by. Goddamn Spain vibe. Now they are free. Rum, women, guns. <laughs> and they don't feel guilty. Original sin? 
all day too, at least. Yeah. Yeah, Frida Wallow and just like you. Uh, well, and then, you know, okay, they're Americans now. Okay, so, uh, yeah, um, that cranked up immigration to New York City. Oh, 1930s, huh? Just like everybody's heading north to New York, huh? I mean, now everybody got relatives or they've lived there already and come home because they like the tropics better, but they all got relatives in New York. 99 dollars one way economy <laughs> no problem. well uh they you know wow impressed with el moro and uh, they're wandering around nearby uh oh casablanca the white house the original family villa of ponce de leon he's the one that uh, first colonized puerto rico 1510 yeah became the first governor of puerto rico Bones in San Juan Cathedral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Salvo gives the, the butt of a saxophone. Mm -hmm. Squeeze. Mm -hmm. You're my fountain of years. When we get back to the villa. Uh, Casablanca, they're wandering around. And they're impressed. Uh, the simplicity 500 years ago of the furniture and the uh, oh in the kitchen the utensils uh, few of them but you know very well made and uh, everything seems to be like thick beamed like the spanish uh, went for this like thick dark massive beaming of the buildings the tables don't try to lift one of those chairs blocky stocky wood beamy just like okay they get off on that, I guess. Um, well, uh, okay. Showtime. Uh, Got to pay 16 bucks a week. Uh huh. Back to the grassy park in front of the El San Juan uh, Cathedral there. And, uh, oh, under that beautiful banyan tree. It's a small park. It's about a half a block on each of the sides. It's a square. On one side, you've got the San Juan Cathedral. Across from that is the El Convento Hotel, another 16th century structure. It used to be a nunnery for the convent. Now it's kind of a boutique hotel. And there's a taxi queue in front of that. You look the other way, you're looking at the, uh, where the cruise ships come up three blocks away. And then, uh, yeah. And um, why? Is this spot uh, a paradise for street musicians? The cruise ships. The International Titanic, world-class, huge as you can get cruise ships. They dock just three blocks away. And then, uh, yeah, these cruise ships, they just... <laughs> disgorge thousands of day-trippers. And the off the gangplank, it leads right up to El San Juan Cathedral. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. 